Hi, I'm Pete with F Body Warehouse, and today we're going to show you a quick install that you can do at home to greatly improve the look of your dashboard. The factory knobs, as you see, for your headlight switch can become dull, the chrome will peel off, and then they'll look yellowed. What we're going to do today is show you how to replace that with a new reproduction headlight pull knob from OER. As you can see, with new chrome, this unit really shines and looks great. So let's show you how to put it on the car. Now currently where we're at on this car is we've got our cluster out, we've done some cluster upgrades and we're going to be putting in a new bezel. But a great thing we can do while we're in here is to replace our headlight knob. To replace your headlight knob on a 1970 to a 1981 Trans Am is a very easy task. Reach in behind the headlight switch and put your finger on top of the headlight switch mechanism. What you're going to feel there is a small nub with a spring on it. And we're going to show you a still picture now. Alright, now that you've seen that spring, your thumb is going to depress that spring and you've got to push really, really hard. I can't stress that enough. What you want to do with your two underfingers, though, is, however, to support the bottom of the unit so you're not just pushing down on your dash because you would run the risk of, of course, breaking the frame of your dash. So you're just squeezing together. Just imagine squeezing the headlight switch together as hard as you can. And then you pull, and it'll pop right out in your hand like so. The replacement switch is identical to the GM unit and it goes in the same way it came out. Take the new switch, push it, the button down once again with your thumb, push it down the shaft, and then release. And it'll click into place. Once it's clicked, you'll feel it, it'll actually pop in and stamp in. Once it's clicked, it'll pull out and push in, just like your factory one did. What we're going to do here is take just a minute, we're going to button up this dashboard, and then once we have the dashboard back in, and all of our dash bezel and gauges installed, we'll go back and we'll take a look. And I think what you're going to find is that really stands out at that point. <laughs> 